There's no way I can lose. Yo, what's going on, E7 fam? Pat here, back with another How to Play video. And in this one, we'll be talking about the tank that everyone on Twitch seems to love to hate at the moment. That, of course, being Crimson Armin. Before we jump into it, I want to thank all of you who took the time to leave feedback on how to play Urban Shadow Shoe and the new format going forward for all of these guides. With your suggestions in the comment section as well as on Discord, I've made some adjustments to this video, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let's not waste any more time though on the intro and jump right in to Crimson Armin's stats. Crimson Armin is a light knight of the Libra Zodiac symbol. She shares a stat line with Rose, as well as Fighter Maya. Oh goody, more knights, as well as a light knight, my favorite element. And she boasts great defense, but only average health compared to other four star knights in Epic Seven. When compared to five stars, you realize that her health stats just, they start to look a little bit. <laughs> But hey, hey, she also sports some starting effect resist at 12%, which isn't too bad. Hey, it's better than nothing with all this effect resist, ignore resist ER. But either way, also of note is her speed is uh, 97, which is, yeah, this is very low compared to the average of a character, but this can actually be seen as a positive when you account for how it interacts with her skill three, shield of of the holy spirits, whatever, it just gives invincibility or some shit. Well, I mean, I'd say she's a pretty great knight, but it's like, it's probably not as good as Shadow Knight Pillars. I mean, uh, that's hot. But, uh, either way. Her English voiceover artist is Olivia Hack, who voices all versions of Armin as well as Sick, Silk. And how could you possibly be a hack whenever you voice two completely different characters who have no relations to each other whatsoever? Sounds amazing, no? In either way, she's also most famous for playing Tai Lee from Avatar The Last Airbender, as well as Shinon Uziki from uh, Xenosaga Episode 2. I don't know any of these people. I didn't watch this but either way, um, her Japanese voiceover artist is Satomi Aka Aku is Aku not gonna work here anymore. <laughs> yeah, let's throw that out. And she's most well known for playing S Death from Akima G G G Watami Roll G Ugu M Ugu Pie Pan from Fate franchise. I, I can't be bothered with this. Crimson Armin's S1 has her slapping the enemy with her shield with a 100% chance to provoke, which has, the gold, which has been the gold standard since the Fallen Cecilia meta, as a 60% defense multiplier to his damage and can generate one soul. Her passive, Security State, which straight up passively reduces all incoming damage by up to 15 per- Wait a minute. What am I doing reading these numbers? Suit, did you really just invite me to do a collab video? Just to make a Carmen guide? Bro, what is this, some I want to be legend guide? Man, just slap a prot set on that bitch. Pick up Leia, Yuffie. Whoa, I can win games in RTA. Limo Gaucho. Maybe I'll jam ball. No shot, man. So you kind of read it. There was an opportunity. What are we doing? <laughs> Wait, what was that? これで光アーミンの変性するだけで、変性するだけで、ってあれ？ちょっと待って。私クリーバーなんだけど、なんでアーミンの話してたんだっけ？え？しかもあれ？日本語？え？What？あの、え、Hello？Why you know what? Speaking about drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Cheers. Who wants to know about Armin anyways? Let's 
talk about some cleave options. Do you know how stacked Ran is? Forget about Crimson Armin when you have Ran. His S2 grants immunity, increases attack, strength. The Alphs are a little bit interesting. That's a species I haven't thought about. Ooh, Scylla. Love a little underwater action. Wolf girls are pretty typical for me. I don't want to disappoint my audience. Speaking of which, can't keep you rock stars waiting. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's your number one E7 leader of the Wolf Pack. Ooh! Tristan Wolf here on another epic video in the world of epic seven. Epic seven. seven. Oh. Oh. Tristan. I'm not Tristan. I'm Sue. Why does it feel like I had the worst hangover ever? I haven't even been drinking. Divine Faker, Divine Shadow here. Ladies and gentlemen, talking about one of my favorite knights in the game. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Troublemaker Crozet. Bringing that trouble on the double for you and the cleave opponents you're going up against. These f like to pick Ran, we ran right through them. And that's exactly why we're bringing him in at a shining stalwart 275 speed. Because what they don't know will hit him twice as hard. That's right, not only is he protecting his team through offense, he's mitigating the back line in defense with his S2 passive chivalry, which is going to tank all that damage that he can to swing back with even more. This is what a hero looks like, a conqueror even, like his Kandar himself. He's dominating the battlefield in absolute passion. And speaking of a man who dominates his battlefield, thank you for the 500 bits, Evan. And you know what? It's time for another hydrate. As the king declares, time to rip one open and get ourselves hydrated, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, a little bit overhydrated, maybe. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, oh god, my clothes are sticking to me. Anyway, like I was saying, Troublemaker Crozet is an absolute. Wait a minute. What the hell am I doing here? Okay, is, well, first of all, well, this was a Crimson Armin guide. Like, as much as I love my Husbandos, this wasn't about Troublemaker Crows. And, and why am I here as Divine Shadow? Okay, retrace your steps, retrace your steps. First, the video was Sue, okay? That makes sense. All he does is make useless guides about characters nobody plays. Hey, I resent that ass. Okay, then we get Lucent. Guild War, I... I fail to see the connection. They both wear... Glasses sometimes, maybe? I don't know. Um, We get Valky and Pizza Choo Choo. Those are E7 streamers, right? And they're VTubers. So that makes sense. But why would it then go into me anyway? <laughs> oh my god. They've done it. They've turned me into a god VTuber. <laughs> Wait, I'm actually kind of cute. Wait, that doesn't matter. Oh my god. I, I'm living in hell. I'm living in hell right now. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know how the f this is happening, but I have no single doubt in my gosh darn mind that it's all Prof Boy's fault. Oh, I'm gonna get that man. I'm gonna get him right now. I'm really killing it though. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. And finally we come to the stone ruined city, and upon the tallest tower sits the spired halls of Wolf House, a concaphony of twisted metal and stone that I like to call home. Let's check it out. Welcome my friends, welcome to my home. Here we have an assortment of humans working the assembly line. We have a multi-tiered garden, creating food fit for a king watered with the spit of dragons. 
<laughs> and on we progress to the second floor, the living quarters, richly tailored with drinks and beds and fineries, luxury fit for a king, for in a castle, a man is a king. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm not streaming, am I? No, no, OBS isn't even on. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? <sighs> Onto the second floor, a postmodern dystopian future, glowing walls, garbage fires. <laughs> yes, yes, this palace has it all. Is somebody there? Honey, is that you? Seriously, who the hell is watching me? I know you're there. Come out. You. It's you. It's you. You. Come out and face me. Show yourself. Come out and face me. Come out of there. Yeah, I'm done. Man, talk about a workout. When was the last time I edited something? Actually, when was the last time I uploaded? Also, why am I in this room? I can only think of two reasons why I would be here. Judging from the white walls, I'm probably in an asylum, which means I only have two reasons as to why I would be here. Someone leaked my search history, or I'm in an I'm Sue video. And I have no idea which one is worse. Hello? Mother, I knew this was your fault. Is this payback for my little- What do you mean is my fault?